Corsi here. In this question, we've got two fractions to add. We've two and a third, two and a third, and we have to add four fifths to that. Now, looking at thirds and fifths, they're different. Thirds are different from fifths. We have to create a fraction here and here that have the same number on the denominator on the bottom of the fraction. And we're looking at the three times table, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, etc., 18, 21, and so on. And we're looking at the five times table, 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. And we're looking for the smallest number that occurs in both of them. These are the multiples of 3, the multiples of 5. We're looking for the smallest number that's in common with these, the least common multiple. And we can see that 15 does the trick. Where if we have a 3, we multiply it by 5. And if we have a 5, we multiply that by 3. That's the third multiple of 5. That's the fifth multiple of 3. So here's what we do. We take a third and we multiply top and bottom by 5 so that we get a 15 in the bottom. The reason we can do that, if we have a third and multiply it by 1, it doesn't change the value of a third. And if we think of that 1 as being written as 5 fifths, then the rule for multiplying fractions, multiply the top two numbers, 1 times 5, multiply the bottom two numbers, 3 times 5, we get 5 fifteenths. And then, similarly, for 4 fifths, multiply top and bottom by 3. The reason we can do that is because if we multiply 4 fifths by 1, and let's write it in the shape of 3 thirds, it doesn't change its value. 4 times 3, 5 times 3. So we're rewriting 4 fifths as 12 fifteenths. And now we do have the same number in the denominator. They're both in terms of fifteenths. This is five fifteenths, this is twelve fifteenths, and if we're adding them, we'll get five plus twelve lots of these fifteenths, which is seventeen fifteenths. Now, for seventeen fifteenths, we know that fifteen fifteenths is actually one. That would leave another two of the fifteenths over. So we can rewrite 17 fifteenths as 1 and 2 fifteenths. 1 and 2 fifteenths. 2 plus 1 is 3, and 2 fifteenths, which we normally just write as 3 and 2 fifteenths. Now, there are other ways of doing this question. You might well have been taught to take the 2 and a third and change the two and a third. Three twos are six plus one seven thirds. We write it as seven thirds. Now the reason you can do that is because we're saying that two can be written as three thirds and another three thirds. That's two lots of three plus one third. That'd be your seven thirds. And again, similarly, we'll, we'll change both of these to fifteenths by multiplying top and bottom here by 5. 5 7 is 35. 5 times 3 is 15. Multiply top and bottom here by 3. three 4 times 3 is 12. 5 times 3 is 15. And there we have 35 fifteenths and another 12 fifteenths. That's 47 of the fifteenths. Now, how do we... Simplify 47 fifteenths. Well, 15 into 47 goes 3. That's 3 fifteenths are for 45 with 2 of the fifteenths left over. Now, what we're actually doing there is saying let's take these 47 fifteenths and take them in bunches of 15. There's 15 of them, another 15 of them, and a third. 15 of them. It's 45 fifteenths and there's only two of them left over. So there's a whole one and another one and another one with the two fifteenths left over. That's three and two fifteenths. Which is precisely what we got before. So that's Mr. Corsi signing out and thanks for watching. Music